Hello, and welcome to my video. I'm Tentabat, a not safe work artist, but that's besides the point. Today, I will be talking about Pokemon Mystery Dungeon DX, revealed in the Pokemon Direct. First of all, Yee-haw! I've never been so happy for a Pokemon Direct before. This has gotten me so excited. I actually had my hopes up for anything Pokemon Mystery Dungeon related for this Direct. Cause I was like, okay, it's been long enough. There's gotta be something. But also, only a few days ago, I replayed my Explorers of Sky game again. I'm really hoping to get all the way through Zero Island. Zero Isle? Zero Alice. <laughs> Zero Isle South right now. Gonna try to go through with an Arbok. Anyways, I was ecstatic. The moment I heard the I couldn't wait to see what it, what it was gonna be. And it ended up being a blue slash red rescue team remake. I was so excited for this. Finally, something. An actual mystery dungeon game. Now I saw some tweets saying they were actually hoping for a new standalone game, but I actually think having a remake is even better. Because, I gotta say, I was not a fan of the last two games, that being Gates to Infinity and Super Mystery Dungeon. I didn't finish either, so I don't have the whole experience to actually review it, but I gotta say, it didn't even grasp me enough to actually finish it, so. Anyways, my point is, since they're actually trying to make the remake the first two games, Maybe it'll be as good as the originals. But yeah, even after the excitement and joy after seeing the trailer, there was a little bit of worry in me. Uh, since uh, I saw the 3D models, it reminded me of the last two games, so it had me a little concerned. Now, I know they will absolutely not go back to the cute little pixel graphics, but ever since the games turned 3D, it always felt different, like control-wise and the camera view, like it was hard to see the rooms and all that. Because it felt off, I haven't been too interested in the, in the games because of that. Anyways, besides the 3D models, I think the visuals look gorgeous. The backgrounds look like the little title screens in the earlier games. And that visual style, it gives me a sense of adventure and a little bit of comfort. It's like seeing a storybook being unfold. I really appreciate that look. I also really appreciate the textured shadows on the 3D models to make it really look like they belong in that environment. But yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm really excited to get the game. It looks great and hope the glink I hope the gameplay is just as good as the originals. Now just to wait till March. Wait, there's a demo? Two hours later. Alright, I'm back. And yeah, game's good. The demo is up till Diglett kidnapped, so you could play like three or four dungeons and you get to visit the town and the bulletin board. It does have the personality tests at the beginning, but you can decline what you were chosen as and select the Pokemon you want. I did this. I was originally a timid Mudkip, but ended up picking Skitty because that's the first Pokemon I got when I first played Blue Rescue Team. I had Mudkip as a Pokemon partner when I first played, uh, but I opted for a Cubone this time named Mara. The visuals were really pleasing, like I said, just out of the storybook. I also enjoyed the texture over the Pokemon models. Even though they do not move along with the Pokemon, I just think it's a really nice style. I also enjoyed the little movements and animations of my Skitty character. It was so cute, like the ears, the ears follow through as her head turns. That was cute, yeah. The controls feel nice, I think. Of course, I have to get used to them since it's not on the DS. Parts feel similar to the 3D games, like how you push your partner around instead of switching tiles. 
and how you choose certain moves by pressing two buttons. But the dashing feels good and the camera angle uh, works as well for exploring. I walk diagonal a lot within the game, but that feels kind of off to do when you're using either the left stick or the d-pad because you're also holding the R button. I don't know, maybe I just gotta get used to it. But yeah, it feels like an improvement from the last time I played the latest games. Uh, I just realized this, but the thing I gotta mention about the pushing Pokemon around instead of switching with your team member. Another tweet has reminded me that there's actually a lot of people, including myself, who use the switching mechanic as a strategy. Sure, you can hold down B and switch tiles with them that way, but I really do hope in the future they'll add an option where switching tiles with, with a teammate can be the standard. It's an aspect of the gameplay I miss as well, especially when pushing makes you hungrier. What I didn't expect when I went into the first dungeon is that I was able to see enemies and items on the map already. I really hope this is just for beginning levels or the demo version because that takes away the challenge and the surprise. Like in the Explorers of Sky game I'm playing right now, I really needed the item that locates enemies and objects to get an advantage in Infernal Cave. So that ability can be a real crucial advantage in a hard dungeon, and I don't think it should be given lightly. Oh, and there's an auto mode too uh, when you play, where your team explores or finds the stairs on their own. They walk around without you having to press anything. Though you come across enemies and you might have to fight. I didn't use it very much because I was scared of not having control, but it seems like it will be useful for later parts in the game. What I don't like is the portraits of the Pokemon when they talk. Yeah, it looks like the original portraits from the games, but I don't like that shading. I know I said I like the texture shadows from the 3D models, but the portraits feel like they were lazily airbrushed. Also, it might have been my mistake to choose a Cubone since uh, he can't really make a lot of facial expressions. Like he can't, he can't smile with an actual mouth. He, he, he has a skull covering him. But I just don't like his expressions. The one where he's sad, he, he don't look good. I don't know, maybe I feel like the shading and expressions could be better. Maybe instead of copying the original portraits, they could have reinvented themselves, you know? I feel like since they're not held back by pixel graphics, they could have done more. What I do like though is the visual cue where they have the little speech bubbles during the mystery dungeon and they even have the little excitement lines and sweat drops. I really do enjoy that little touch. One thing I'm very excited about is the introduction of shiny Pokemon in these games. Well, I'm not sure if they were in the last two games, but I saw a photo of the description of the friend bow. It said it heightens the chance of shiny Pokemon joining. But if it's as rare as it is in the main games, it's gonna be real heartbreaking if the Pokemon just faints and doesn't join. But yeah, those are my thoughts so far. Obviously, I cannot wait to see the entirety of the game and what it has to offer. I got really good feelings by just playing the demo. And oh yeah, I named my team Team Dreamy by the way, though I was tempted to call them Team Fluffes. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video, please like it. But if you don't, you can dislike it. If you want more content from me, you can subscribe and see what I do. I'd also like to give thanks to my Patreons that are on screen right now. I really appreciate their support. This video wouldn't be possible without them. I'd like to give a special thanks to Lucy, Mainful, Seven Deaths, Boon HD, and Bolt Chaser. If you're 18 plus and want to be in the credits or take a look at my other rewards, check out my Patreon. It should be in the description down below. Now I'm off to draw some sexy birds.